everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan. In today's video is another episode of our little e-commerce series here on the channel. And for today's video's topic, we're gonna be talking about coupons and discounts. Let's go ahead and get started. So here we are in the dashboard of our little e-commerce website that we're setting up. And if we wanna create coupons or even set discounts, what we need to do is come down to marketing and SEO and down here you will see coupons and automatic discounts. For now, let's go ahead and start with coupons. Once we land on this page, this is what you're basically going to see. You can either press new coupon here or you can press one up here as well. Now you can also set coupons up through your products themselves. So if you go to your products, select one that you want to apply a coupon to, you can also do it through there. But I do think this is probably the easiest way. And once we click new coupon, this is the view that we will see. At the very top, we can select which type of coupon that we want to apply. Do we want just a straight dollar amount, a percentage? Do we want to offer free shipping, a discount on the sale price, or do we want to buy X, get Y free type of deal? Each of these have their different use cases. And of course you can use this however you want. But for now, let's go ahead and start with the dollar amount. Um, for this one, let's just follow their, their example here, except for now, for us, it's kind of winter. So maybe we say winter sale 23, cause it's 2023. And as soon as we click off of it, it's gonna add it here. And I'm just going to kind of name this winter sale 2023, perfect. Now let's go ahead and discuss the dollar amount that we want to do. Maybe we want to do a $10 discount code. And what do we want to apply it to? We can apply it to specific products. We can apply it to all products. We can do a specific category of products, or we can even do a minimum order subtotal. For this type of discount, probably minimum order subtotal is really good. So you can do something like spend $60 and you get $10 off, something similar to that. Underneath that, we have include with subscriptions. So if you sell products that people can subscribe to, like monthly boxes that they receive through mail, you can allow them to use this coupon on that subscription if you want to. Otherwise, you can just leave this unchecked. Underneath that, we have the dates that we can set for this coupon. So as of right now, it's October 9th. 2023. So this is, so if I go ahead and create a coupon right now, this coupon winter sale 2023 can be used. If this is something that we're kind of prepping for a later date, we can set the start date to a future date if we want to. And then right over here, you can say, don't set an end date. If this is going to be a coupon that you want to use forever, um, then you want to leave this checked right here. However, this is a winter sale 2023. So we probably don't want this coupon valid forever. So maybe we can set an end date, like maybe December 31st. Some coupons, however, you might not want to set an end date. For example, if you are offering some sort of email signup form and you offer some sort of $10 discount code when users sign up, then you probably want to check this as don't set an end date. It's kind of a way to get people to sign up for your website for your email marketing campaigns and they get a little discount on their next order. So for something like that, you might not want to set an end date. And lastly, we can limit the amount of uses. So we can limit the total number of uses for this coupon. This is kind of one of those things like the first 20 people to use this coupon can save $10 on orders over $60. So we can set something up like that. Although I don't think that's really used all that often. So again, this one just really depends on the type of campaign that you're trying to run with the coupon. Underneath that, we have limit to one use per person. I do typically check this because let's say we do offer a discount for people that sign up for our website, right? And it's a $10 discount. I wouldn't want people to use that coupon every single time they sign in and try to buy something. So we want to limit this to one use per customer. That way they can't like take advantage of the deal every time they wanna buy something from our website. So I do typically check this to limit to one use per customer. And that's really all you need to know about these coupons. But before we move on to discounts, uh, let's just go ahead and talk about all of these other type of coupons. So we just kind of talked about the dollar amount. Let's go ahead and check out the percentage. For this one, maybe we want to do a 20% discount. 
And once again, we can choose it on all products, specific products, specific categories, or even minimum order subtotals. Again, this all depends on what type of deal or campaign that you're trying to run. And then everything underneath is exactly the same across all of these coupons, so we won't really cover that. For free shipping, we can apply this to all orders or a minimum order subtotal. So we can run a campaign that says, spend over $100 and you get free shipping. You'll notice that on a lot of e-commerce websites, especially around busier times of the year, like in the winter when they have sales for Christmas and Black Friday and all those type of things. Next to that is sale price. So enter the sale price for what you want to offer. So for this one, we're just setting a dollar amount. So if a product is normally $20, what you can basically do with this one is set it to 10 or let's just say like $13, right? So now instead of the user seeing $20, they're gonna see 13. And of course you can apply this to all products, specific products or or specific categories. For this one, I would probably choose specific products and then go through and select the ones that you want to include in this one. Um, and, you can, and it even shows like the current price. So obviously now only $13 really wouldn't make sense. So maybe we'd want to do like $9 for this one. Um, something like that. I do somewhat wish we could select multiple products here, um, but that doesn't seem to be the case. We might have to create coupons for multiple products if we want to do that. And then last but not least, we have buy X, get Y free. So what we can say is buy two, get one free, and we can of course apply this to all products, specific product or specific categories. This one is pretty straightforward, however, one thing I do wish we had here is buy one, get one 50% off instead of free. I wish we could have a little bit more customization with this one, um, but I do think that this is still a really good one to use. But for now, let's just go back to the dollar amount discount. Uh, we'll set $10 on a minimum subtotal of $60. We don't want to include this in a subscription. We want this to have an end date because it is winter sale. And then we want to limit to one use per customer and we'll go ahead and create the coupon. And now we have this active coupon here ready to go for us. So over here, we can copy the coupon code, include that in our ads, email marketing, social media, or whatever we need to, to help drive sales. We can also include this on our website and some sort of banner to also help whenever someone comes to our website, they can see what kind of active sales we have going on. I think that would also be really good. And if we press this right click, we can edit, duplicate, promote it, deactivate or delete it. And one thing that I do appreciate is right here, it tells us how many uses the coupon actually gets. So we know if our marketing is working or not. But now let's go ahead and move on to discounts. So over here on the left hand side, right under coupons, we will see automatic discounts. Let's go ahead and check that out. So here we land on this page. Let's go ahead and press create discount. For this discount, let's go ahead and give it a name. Uh, just for fun, we'll call this one Winter Sale 2023 again. And what does this automatic discount actually offer? So we can select what this discount applies to. We can say all products, specific products or specific categories. If we do specific products, we can select multiple of them and we can choose these three right here. So product one, four and seven. And underneath that, we can set requirements if we want to. So we can set a minimum quantity. Maybe you have to buy two of them and then the automatic discount takes an effect or we can set a minimum subtotal. Um, this is very similar to the coupons. It's just laid out a little bit differently. Um, maybe uh, a $30 minimum order. But what I will say is maybe you don't want both of these. You can either do one or the other. I think that makes the most sense. Have a minimum subtotal of 30 or you can set a minimum quantity of these items. So maybe two of these products um, people need to buy for this automatic discount. And we can say customer gets, and we can select a percentage off, an amount off or sale price. Uh, for this one, let's just select percentage and we'll do like 20% off. We can set the dates here. So once again, we can set the start date today or sometime in the future at a specific time. 
And then if we check this, we can even set an end date, which because again, this is a winter sale, it might be good to actually set an end date here. Um, and we'll set this at like 11.59 p.m. Perfect. And then underneath that, we can display the discount name on the product page, galleries, cart and checkout, or only on the cart and checkout. I feel like having it display on the product page and galleries help promote the sale and help drive additional sales. So I don't see why you would want to only show it in the cart and checkout. I think it would be good to show it here as well. So now let's go ahead and press save. So once we have this discount saved, you can see we have the discount name, 20% off product one, four and seven when they order two or more. This is active. We can see the dates that's active. And once again, we can see the amount of uses that this discount gets. Over here, we can also edit, duplicate, and delete the coupon if we wanted to. So if we come over to our live website, and if we just kind of scroll down, you will see here in the gallery, we can see winter sale 2023 for products one, seven, and four. So if I just go ahead and add this product to our cart real quick, let's just select the lavender, press add to cart, fantastic. So now it's in our cart. Let's go back to the shop page and let's go ahead and grab product number four and we'll add this one to the product as well, which you can see the winter sale. So now you can see that when we add two of these products, which was the minimum required for this automatic discount, you can see it's already cutting down a little bit of the price for us automatically. Now I'm interested to see if this will work, but let's also go ahead and enter winter sale 23 coupon code and see if that already Oh, so I forgot. We set a minimum value of $60. So let's just for fun, let's go ahead and add additional products. This one's kind of expensive. So we'll add this one real quick, press add to cart. And we'll also go ahead and grab product number 16, add this one to the cart as well. And now that we are at our cart, we have some of the items that are already have an automatic discount applied. And now I'm interested to see if a coupon will actually apply as well. So we'll do winter sale 23 and see if it applies this as an additional discount, which it did. So it is kind of cool to see that we can have multiple discounts applied, even like with automatic discounts and a coupon code. So I think that's pretty cool. And as you can see, these coupons and discounts were not hard to set up at all. In fact, they were actually pretty simple. The hard part I feel like is going to be marketing and trying to drive sales, which these coupons are supposed to help do that. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you on the next one.